Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no post. I know it has been a while, but I'm back with my first cook with me. I'm going to be cooking three things for this cook with me video. Um, it's going to be my Sunday lunch. So I have vegan jollof, some spinach stew and tofu dodo. We're going to start by prepping the tofu for the tofu dodo. So we have to season the tofu. But before we do that, I have to press the tofu. If you have a tofu press, that's really easy to use and straightforward. But I didn't have that. So I placed my iron skillet with some cans just to press out the excess moisture from the tofu. Afterwards, I'm going to start. I'm going to cut the um, tofu into little cubes and just to prep it for the seasoning mix. For the marinade, we have oil to bind all the dry spices together. We have garlic powder, ginger, black pepper. I always feel so fancy anytime I use my black pepper. Smoked paprika, some sliced onions, curry powder, thyme, and salt. Now we're going to mix everything together, but be careful when you're mixing so that the tofu doesn't break. You're going to let the tofu sit in the spices for at least three hours. So now that the tofu is marinating, we can head over to the vegan jollof. I'll start off by frying some of the spices like the bay leaves and the thyme in the oil so that, you know, those flavors can be released. Then I'll add the onions and fry for about 5 minutes. Afterwards, I will add my tomato paste. So the tomato paste is actually what gives the jollof that distinct red color. So you want to fry this for about 10 minutes before you go ahead and add the pepper mix. So here's my pepper mix. The full list of ingredients will be in the description box down below and also just so you know that this pepper mix has been boiled down to reduce the moisture so when I'm frying it, it doesn't take too long. So we're going to fry this for another 10 to 15 minutes and in between we're going to add some garlic and some ginger. So I'll go ahead and add the rest of the spices, so some curry powder, smoked paprika, and some salt. When the oil floats nicely to the top like this, then you know that your stew base is ready. And this stew base is so flavorful that you can actually stop cooking your jollof and just Eat this with rice or bread. I'm actually going to do a separate video giving you tips on how to always get the perfect jollof. I'm going to go ahead now and add the rice. So I've washed and drained the rice. I'm just going to add it here and then mix everything through. Then I'll be adding a cup of water and mix again. Mm. 
now it's time to cook the jollof jollof rice is not something you just increase the heat and oh in 10 20 minutes it's ready jollof rice is something you want to slow cook so the rice sits in that you know flavorful stew base and just soaks up all that flavor so you're going to turn down the heat and then um, cover the pot with a foil just to trap all that heat basically you're like steaming the rice so you're going to cover the pot with the foil and use the lid on top of that and then reduce the heat heat so that the um, jollof rice slow cooks um, during the cooking process you're going to open up or open up the lid and um, stir the rice so you're going to try to do this two times during the cooking process so that it doesn't burn so now the rice is ready these next steps are really crucial if you want that smoky patty flavor that we all love for our jollof rice so i'm going to go ahead and add my onions and some vegan butter So I'm going to do something called controlled burning. So basically that's what I like to call it. This is how you infuse that smoky flavor into your jollof. So what you do is you crank up the heat of the jollof rice very high to like medium high. And then you're going to burn the jollof for about four to five minutes. So after about four to five minutes, you turn off the heat but do not open the lid of the jollof, the pot cover. What you're going to do is let the jollof just sit inside that smoky goodness, that smoky flavor. So you're going to let the jollof sit into that, you know, for a while. I'd say maybe a couple minutes. And then afterwards, you can open up your rice and you already have that um, smoky flavor infused. Now our smoky vegan jollof is ready. So we're going to move ahead now to the tofu dodo. So the tofu dodo is basically just bell peppers, plantain, and the tofu mixed in a, you know, flavorful stew base. So I have some chopped bell peppers and onions, and then I'll go ahead and also chop my plantains into cubes. I'll be frying this. After frying my plantain, I'll move on to the tofu that has been marinating um, for a couple of hours and fry that too. Now that we're done prepping, it's time to start cooking the tofu dodo. So I'll start by adding some oil into the pan. I was get very careful with the amount of oil that I added because I didn't want it to be too much. So you'd see that I'll add a little bit um, of oil also in between because I was trying to be really careful. It's better to have um, too little than too much of the oil. As you've seen before, I start off by frying some of my spices, so like the thyme, so that the flavor can be released into the oil. Then I'll fry my onions and bell peppers for a couple of minutes. Because I still like that fresh taste from the bell peppers and onions and I don't want it to be overcooked I will divide my fried bell peppers and onions into two 
and I'll keep some that I'll be adding when the tofu dodo is ready. Now it's time to add the pepper mix. Also, the full list of ingredients will be in the description box below. So everything I use for this pepper mix will be in the description box down below. So you're going to fry the pepper mix for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then after that, I'll start adding some of the spices. So I added curry powder, ginger, garlic powder, and some salt. Then I will go ahead and add my fried tofu. Then I'm going to let this cook for another couple of minutes so that the tofu can, you know, get the chance to say hello to the pepper mix. Then I will be adding a little bit of water just to loosen it up a bit. Because I wanted to add some texture to this dish, I decided to add some wood ear mushrooms which are usually chewy. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my um, fried plantains, dodo, and I will mix that just for another two minutes or so. Then remember our bell peppers and onions that we removed when we were frying at the beginning? Now I'm going to add it back, mix everything again, and turn off the heat. And that's it! Our tofu dodo is ready. Now it's time for the spinach stew. So in this bowl here, I have some tomatoes, some onions, some bell peppers, and scotch bonnet. And I'll be frying this for about five minutes. In between frying, I will be adding my spices, so I added garlic powder, curry powder, salt, ginger powder, and smoked paprika. Again, I'll be adding some more wood ear mushrooms just for texture. I'll turn off the heat now and add my spinach and just mix everything well. And that's it, spinach stew is ready. This is how everything came out and it tasted so, so, so good. I want you to try it out and let me know how it goes in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video till the end. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Till next time, bye!